Well, Paul, I should take you back to your first goal for Wimbledon. It was a full house uh, in the stadium against Rochdale. What can you remember about it? Uh, to even, well, to be fair, at the start, obviously, it was my first home start. So uh, to walk out and just hear the fans roaring, and obviously, I had a song I didn't even know about that the fans had made for me. So I was all surprised at the same time, but the atmosphere was just amazing, walking out and then obviously to actually get a goal. As soon as I got the goal, I didn't even know how to celebrate, uh, but I had uh, obviously Anthony Wordsworth who well, told me to go into the crowd and so I was just amazed, I was literally speechy, I didn't know how to celebrate. Yeah, and um, afterwards did you get congratulations messages from oh, fans? Yeah, 100%, I got a few fans <laughs> messaging me saying I'm excited of what you can bring, fast, we love you down the wing going to take us to the Prem. <laughs> really? <laughs> all the sorts, yeah. Yeah, and looking ahead now, Tuesday night, what would it be like to have them back in Pile Lane? Honestly, I feel, I feel like it would be like deja vu. It would be, just take me straight back to that game against Rochdale, but hopefully I can get another goal. Uh, and, uh, this time I'll know how to celebrate properly. Yeah, and it's been such a long time, it's been like a full year where fans haven't been at games. It, it, it's everything, isn't it, in football? It really yeah. is everything. It's not the same without the fans, you know, like, we have coming out an audio speaker it's not really the same sometimes it's delayed so it's not the same but to have them there tomorrow it's going to be very big and obviously we're back home back to plow lane you know it's been what 30 good years but i finally back home so and you were born locally wasn't you you got yeah. local roots haven't you yeah i was born in um, brixton so grew up there so it's literally 20 minutes not just around the corner yeah, and also your background with the academy and the foundation, you must have been brought up yeah. throughout the years on stories of Plough Lane. Even though, so obviously, we well, obviously went to Southfields, so yeah. it's in Wandsworth, and they were talking about how Plough Lane's in Wandsworth, so I was like, oh, wow, can't wait to actually get back. Yeah, and you scored against Arsenal the 23s early this season at Plough Lane, obviously with no fans there, but you showed you can do it against the best youngsters in the country. 100%, and uh, with the fans there this time, hopefully, I can do it again. Yeah. There's no Liverpool legends or anything as deep, nah. nothing. Or in the squad? No, just this is a squad that hopefully I can put on a good show for the fans. Yeah, yeah. And you've had a chance to test yourself against some, you know, high class youngsters. Yeah, so know. when we play well in any game to be fair, but when we do get the chances to play like Premier League teams uh, obviously we wanna put on a good show. But as again, like I said against Arsenal, we're not like everyone would expect them to have the ball but not with us we're going to press them we're not going to sit back we're going to bring the game to them especially with the fans there like i said again we're going to make sure it's worth it and robbo released his retain list to the day you were on it which we knew you would be but you must be really pleased with the direction this club was going in and that continuity 100 percent, obviously so after robbo's taken over it's been loads of exciting things and it's going to be worth for the fans to see how we are playing now in life yeah. And in a way it's the end of the season. I bet you can't relish the next the next campaign. <laughs> I can't wait, to be fair. I can't wait till we get going again and back in and wait for that first game of the season of World Fans Day.